There is four new pets coming to the fire dimension in Adopt Me, and best of all, they are all free. That's right, you can literally get four brand new pets from the brand new Adopt Me fire dimension update for free. In the same way that you go and craft the previous baits by going and placing your ingredients in, you can go and do the exact same thing to craft a brand new sort of bait. If you don't know what the fire dimension is, basically you go into this portal of this crazy looking fire dimension. And inside, you have to go around traveling around, collecting ingredients. These ingredients regenerate every 10 or so minutes. It will actually go and tell you on the thing. After these items go and regenerate, you can go and claim them again, but I recommend just flying around and simply claiming each one of them. For example, this right here is an ingredient, this is an ingredient, you need to go and collect all three ingredients to go and craft a bait. And with those baits, that's right, you can get an infinite amount of these baits completely for free. This is a completely free update, but there is a small catch, and I'll explain that to you a little bit later. So once you've gone and got all of these ingredients, as you can see, you walk up to it, you collect it, you then go and convert it into a brand new item called a Burnt Bite Bait. Just like the previous fight I mentioned, you find the items around the map and then you go and transform it into a bait. Now, what is new or what is different about this? Well, there are some new pets that you can go and get out of the bait. Instead of Adopt Me going on replacing the Magma Snail or the Magma Moose and the Fiery Red Panda, which everyone kind of predicted that they were going to do, we're still keeping the Blazing Lion, which is kind of shocking information i thought they were definitely going to go and replace it but by going and collecting these limited time baits you can go and get bucks um obviously bucks is the worst option that you could possibly get uh the bucks range is going to be between 10 to 10 thousand with the most common one probably being like around 50 bucks Second of all, there are six brand new petwares you can go and collect. Um, as of what these petwares are, not yet disclosed, but I imagine it's going to be pretty cool. Maybe there'll be some rare petwares, such as a legendary. Still remains slightly a mystery. Third option is an age up potion. I think you all know what an age up potion is by now. It's actually an extremely handy item, and I, uh, I like them a lot. And uh, the next option are the pets. There is four new pets coming into the game, starting off with the ultra rare Burning Bunny. This is what the pet looks like. Adopt Me went and officially sent me some images of what all of these pets look like. And this is a pretty cool looking pet. I like the fiery aspect. This pet definitely looks similar to the fiery red panda. Similar vibes, similar aesthetic. And yeah, this is a pretty cool pet. I do like this and of course that is an ultra rare pet so it's a pretty nice pet it's gonna be completely for free if you're lucky enough to go and hatch it out of your bait but the thing is there's not only one bait there's actually two um i'll tell you about that in a second but before i tell you that let me show you what the next pet is the ultra rare flaming fox Okay, this one is, um, it doesn't look as flamey as the first one, right? Like, there's not much fire to it. There's not much, like, lava. It just looks like a, a regular fox, personally. I mean, I think, personally, it needs a bit more flame or a bit more fire. It looks a bit foxy and not enough red and black, like the other ones are. It's a bit of a, an outlier to the other pets, which is very random, to be honest. But still, it's a cool pet. It's an ultra red. You could possibly go and unlock this completely for free as for the odds of going and getting this is not actually disclosed i wish they would disclose this but they did not say i guess it's going to be slightly a secret until the update officially goes and releases where you can then go and make your lovely bait out of the cool ingredients but as i mentioned earlier there's actually two types of baits well the other bait guarantees you a pet there is four pets you can get and if you purchase the robux version then you're guaranteed one of those four pets. If you go and use the free version, you can get the bugs, the petware, the age up potions, or a pet, okay? That is the odds. So two versions, one is guaranteed a pet. The second version is the free one, which could give you bugs or a pet. Makes sense? So obviously if you pay Robux, then you're guaranteed one of the pets. As of the odds of these pets, again, not fully disclosed. They have not uh, told anyone about this. How long do these baits take to go and use? 
10 minutes. So say you buy one of these baits for 80 Robux, it will take you 10 minutes still to find out what pet you will go and get. So let's go and continue to see what the other pets are. The next pet is the ultra rare wild fire hawk. This is um, pretty cool. I mean, it looks very similar to the previous hawk, which is a pet that already exists inside of Adopt Me. This is the current hawk that we have in Adopt Me. It's kind of similar, but at the same time, it's also very different if you actually compare the two together. Like, uh, I mean, they're both hawks, right? But then the design's different because obviously that one's flaming and this one's not. The colors are different. Like the way that the chest is made is different. Okay, they haven't revealed what the neons look like yet but I imagine it would follow a similar theme as of like how the neon hawk looks where probably just like the amber parts of it will start to glow. As for the final pet, there is actually a legendary, which honestly um, was very unexpected. I wonder what the odds are. I guess it's gonna be a tiny percentage. I don't mean he's really trying to go and give us a pet that will contain a ton of value in the same way that going and getting a blazing lion is worth tons of neon legendaries still. Since the odds of a blazing lion are 1 in 10,000, does that mean the odds of getting the brand new rhino, which is called the legendary volcanic rhino, is gonna be 1 in 10,000? Honestly, if it is, then we will be in trouble. 1 in 10,000 odds is very difficult. And obviously, if you want to get enough to like make a neon, that would be very expensive. But considering you can go and purchase a Robux pet bait for 80 Robux, um, it's not disclosed if the odds are increased on going and getting the legendary. I mean, considering you're spending Robux, I imagine the odds are going to be increased. It could still be 1%. Even if it is 1%, that's, uh, that's going to be pretty evil. <laughs> But um, I guess Adopt Me will probably go and tell us more about what the odds are, how you go and get this, how long the event's lasting, a little bit more in the weekly news or in any type of updated post. Currently, the only video I can find is this animation of the, uh, the wild fire hawk. And we can see it just flying around. It seems the ingredients are exactly the same. And let me check if I actually still have these ingredients. I think it would be in the the food so if I just search ingredient do I have that um, fire flame I actually don't know I maybe it was called a melon yeah a very valuable melon the molten melon I wonder if I will be able to go and uh, use these melons again in the future. So maybe it will work, maybe it won't, I guess, because uh, the melons were previously used to make the flaming zebra bait, and uh, there is a chance that these old items might not be able to be used, but if they can be used, that would honestly be great because um, I've got so many of like these melons. I have 20 melons, which is enough to make like five baits, because if you didn't remember, you used five of these melons, which were made out of a rarer ingredient to go and make like the flaming zebra bait, which was a rarer pet, right? I think, am I going crazy? Um, the flaming zebra, yeah, I'm pretty sure you made this out of like the rarer ingredients. I might be wrong. So overall, this is a very crazy update. The Lunar New Year update is going to be ending. So if you have not gone and spent all of your Yak Gua, then I'd recommend going and spending it as soon as possible since this update is going to be leaving. I definitely stock up on some of the the gifts if you haven't gone and done so already and also that midnight dragon speaking of the midnight dragon i do have some spare to go and give away so if you would like to go and win your own midnight dragon completely for free then do let me know down below in the comment section by liking this video subscribing and commenting your username for a chance to win a free Midnight Dragon in Adopt Me. To see me trade from a dog to a mysterious pet in 100 trades, you need to click this video here right now. I think you'll really enjoy this video next. Click here to go and watch it next.